Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly collective tarot reading session for you Aries. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Aries. This reading for today, it is your... Oh, you've got lovers. This is for the Aries sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. Okay, what's this? Four of Swords, the Sun card. Okay, what's meant for you to know? And ready for you to know, Aries. This is for you. What can I get for Aries, please? Okay, what is the message for Aries? This is a weekly collective reading for you guys. Please don't forget to hit the bell and click the subscribe button as well. Check out the website and let's see what's coming towards you. Weekly collective reading. Okay. You've got a Queen of Swords. You've got the Seven of Wands. And you've got the Nine of Swords. Three of Cups. Wow. Celebration. Page of Cups. King of Wands. You've got the Queen of Pentacles in here. Ooh, the Two of Cups. Ooh, the Tower card. What is that? Boom. Okay, so let's get you an overall energy. Okay, let's... What is the overall energy for Aries, please? Okay. Choices. You've got the two of swords or voices. Two of voice. It comes to me a little bit argumentative in the sense that there's two voices in your head. Should I go to the left or should I go to the right? But the decision, it's connected. Like, will I choose this or this? And it has both an effect. Like, if you choose the left, it would have a direct impact to the right. You know, like, decision, like, decision, decision one, decision two. Like, it has a direct, you know, um, effect. Like, it's a major decision-making Aries. Wow. It, it could be you're buying a house or moving. If I do this, this is what's going to happen. If I do this, this is what's going to happen. And it's big. If I don't do anything, then I'm going to be stuck in here. Um, what is the challenge? I mean, it looks like a challenge already, but there is a big decision making in here. Like there's a clouds of thoughts. The challenge is that for some of you, you don't want to move or you don't want to travel. Two and two. Um, I feel like you need to decide, but you're needing time to decide. And if you decide... One decision will lead to directly cancel out the other decision, the other. And you're, you're not quite prepared to do that yet. There is a travel, two of wands, or for some of you, you have to start all over again. And that is what you kind of fear, is that the unknown, something of that vibe. And you're running out of time for some of you. Let's see. What's the help? The star card have faith you know um aries i feel like this is me this is like a make it or break it decision making i feel like you need to really have faith that whatever happens it is the universe guiding you to a more um to the right this direction like if you follow your feet you know if you follow the direction of the universe will take you whatever you decide if you listen to your voice and I feel like, you know, you, this is choices. There's one voice that's more stronger in your decision. If you do that, then that is, that's going to be supported by the universe. Have faith. No fear. Have faith. I'm getting that in here. Okay? Trust yourself. Trust your instinct. Okay. Let's start your reading. So coming in the recent past or the recent energy is you've got the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got Seven of Wands in here. Um, the Queen of Swords, when this is in reverse, this is a not-so-good card, okay? This is, uh, I'm not satisfied, okay? You're not satisfied or someone is not satisfied with work, with home, with career. Um, Queen of Swords, yeah. So it seems to be, I'm not satisfied with your love, with your attention, with what you're giving me. 
you know, Ace of Cups. It could be a new beginning, but there is a dissatisfaction in how you feel towards somebody, towards someone, a project, you know, career, finance, but it's not good. It feels like half-hearted. You've got a seven of wands in here. You feel limited, you know, and cups, this is emotion. So why, like, why there's a boundary? Why there's a limit? Why there's an expiration for some of you? It's limited. There's some something tells me it's kind of limited. Yeah. You don't like what they're giving you. Seven of wands, four of cups. Someone is giving you something and you don't want that. And you know that they could give you more. It could be support. It could be money. It could be affection. But something tells me you're sure that they could give you more than this. And you're kind of wondering if you don't give me 100% of what I'm asking you or what you can give, then don't give me at all. You don't, I don't like it. Like you're kind of, you're kind of feeling like I don't need it. The nine of swords. If you're just going to give me crumbs, then you, you, you can keep your crumbs with you. Like I'm not a beggar, you know, four of cups. Yeah. Six of wands. Yeah. You want all or nothing. You know, if you're going to give me crumbs and little, you know, shite, Go away, because I deserve 100% of the Ace of Cups, this and that, and this and that. Like, you're really pointing out that I want this, and this, and this, and I want it all. If you can't give it to me, fine. You know, don't give me anything. You know, like, I'm not going to beg you. It is my birthright for some of you. It is my right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're toxic. <laughs> So there's a situation in here where like there's a feeling of you want to set you want to set yourself you want to be really you you want to set yourself clear towards the person or situation cuz you don't want toxic but you you know I don't want toxic but I don't want recycle something tells me that someone is recycling something for you you don't want that <clears throat> You want the brand new Ace of Cups. Whatever this is, you're campaigning or fighting for something quality, equality, something sparkling, something not recycled, something not crumbs, you know. You are the Aries. You're the firstborn. You are the first. So why would you settle for less? That's the vibe I'm getting in here. In a more current energy, Three of Cups. I feel like you managed to... I feel like you managed to get on, you know, three of cups, ace of cups. So if they can't give you the ace of cups, you've decided to find your own cup, three of cups in here. I feel like whatever this is, it could be job, it could be career, it could be love. So be it. You kind of put your attention in three of cups, socializing. You're looking for your cup. So I think you shifted your interest. Okay, you don't want to give me your Ace of Cups. I will find my, you know, cup. You have a Three of Cups in here. So you can find your Ace of Cups. One of these Three of Cups is your Ace of Cups. So it's possible that, you know, you, can, you can't you can get it. Then I'll find it. You know, I'll socialize. I'll apply. I will socialize. I will apply. I will socialize. I will apply for a job until I get my Ace of Cups, you know. If you can't give me one, I can create one. So, you're looking after yourself. Most especially your emotions. You're not getting yourself stuck. Yeah. You know, you're telling this person or situation where Knight of Cups. You don't want me. I don't want you to. I'll find my own cup. I'll find my own support system. I'll find my own friends. I'll find my own, you know, page of cups. What is the page of cups? The world card. So for some of you, you haven't received. You know, for some of you, if for some of you guys, if you keep, if you keep, um, I could hear my stomach. Sorry, I'm hungry. If you keep being pushed aside, because you're moving. Three of cups, knight of cups. I feel like you're moving. You're doing something for you. 
I really feel like you're looking after yourself. You're moving. If you don't want me, I don't want you to. I'll find my own cup. And then as you move, as you progress to the immediate future, you've got page of cups. Okay. You've got deadlines. I feel like you're still waiting for them. So you, you're looking after yourself. You're dating. You're getting to know. You're looking for a job. You're looking for something. You know, you're searching. You want this. They won't give it to you. So you're going to search searching and then coming into the immediate future predictive outcome and advice the wait is over because you waited you're, you're waiting and alternatively you're also searching for a replacement you know in parallel now there will come a point in the immediate future that world guard you will close the deadline and you will stop you you will stop you will stop waiting. Okay, enough. I've waited enough. You will be the king of wands, which I feel like king of wands. Okay, let's look at this. High Priestess. The Magician card. The Eight of Wands. This, okay. Is this moving forward? For some of you, you could be moving alone. Let's look at the three of wands. Yeah, fair enough. So for some of you, so for some of you, Aries, so in the immediate future, you look back, they did not chase you or counter offer you. And while you wait for them, you're searching as well. So you're looking after whatever this is, you are looking after yourself. You know you're not stuck. You don't give me this. I will still look for my one. I will still search. And then you come to a point where, okay, enough of the waiting. I will move on completely away from you and I'll continue my search. You've got a king of wands. The king of wands is looking here. And I feel like you will become the king of wands and you will be more... Um, uh, how do I say this? Like... You'll be more hungry to search. One thing is for sure, the king of wands, it's looking at this. Enough, full stop. I will completely focus my king of wands, my energy to search outside of this. I cannot get, I cannot get this. I waited enough. I'll search. And I'll be the king of wands. Because, you know, king of wands, high priestess in reverse, the magician card. So the king of wands, in the immediate future, you will be the king of wands. You will be smart. You'll play smartly. Done. The search continue. Because, you know, the search continue. Look at that. You know. Eight of Wands. The search continue. Fair enough. You don't want me. I don't want you to. Fair enough. Obviously, you don't want me. You know, I don't want to get stuck. So, fair enough. Justice. I will search my own. You know. It's a feeling, okay, you don't want to hire me. I'll create my own business. I'll be my own boss. So, you know, so you're kind of moving, moving, moving. But you did have some flexibility in here to wait. Then you realize there's nothing to wait for. I'll just put my energy into searching my own thingy. This is fair for me. Now, what you don't see coming is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What is the hidden energy, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands? Like, as you move forward, as you search... As you move away from this, uh, you realize that um, okay, yeah. For some of you, if this is love, it you realize that it you might have the passion to drive away your energy out of this and search and search and search. But there is a part of you, Aries, that somehow you still prefer this. But you're being realistic. You know, like you're only human. You know, two of cups. Tower card. I feel like in the immediate future, there's a part of you that still is looking back in here. But you have already made a decision to move forward. Now you've got a two of cups in here. This is unexpected. Ooh, unexpected lover. 
Okay, if you're going to find your cup. You have ten of wands. So for some of you, Aries, keep moving forward as you move forward. You know, as you move on, you may, as you move on, you navigate your life out of this. You know, it's only, you know, part of the, you know, consequences or part of the, um, what do you call that? Uh, it's a term. Collateral damage, you know, part of the collateral damage is that when, once you, you know, one, one, when you think of them, you, you, it makes you sad that you lost it. You know, it's a lost. This is a lost, but it's fine because you will search and you will find one for yourself. Don't stop searching because you will get that. You know, don't stop searching for love because you what you will get is something amazing. It's something better and better and better than what you were looking for. Our card, you know. Like you could hit jackpot in here because you're only looking for a two of cups and what you got is the lover's card. So for some of you, don't ever give up with your dream. Because this looks like a, you know, a contract. And this is also long term. This could also be love. So don't ever give up on your dream. Keep moving forward. Keep looking. Keep searching. Because one day it will come. Put all of your passion and energy to search for the one. Contract, love, maybe friends, maybe house. But you will shock the world when you find that the one the contract the job you know tower card so this is what i have for you thank you so much aries i will see you soon again guys you have a great day